Hello and welcome to my another interesting video about my learning progress in Unity 3D. Well, uh, this time I have to refresh my knowledge about OOP. I must say C Sharp is kind of, kind of pretty, pretty familiar to Java. It has some historical reasons why it's so familiar, but anyway. This is what I have created. Uh, the assets were provi provided by the course um, mentor, and basically I just done some small adjustments at the pro at the given um, project. And this is a, a Unity, as you see, 2D application. It use a uh, event based system like uh, for my taste is still kind of um, a lot of OP work uh, because you need to be able to understand how event are registered and how the uh, objects actually happen so uh, I use on collision event when the ball hit the target then there are some broadcasting uh, happening and the, uh, yeah and the message uh, is in, and the object is destroyed so another interesting observation is all about threads as i said earlier threads kind of mm, in unity are hidden you basically actually can um, you can use threads but for my test it's always problematic because uh, I always think about this is the famous problem of starving uh, philosophers because if you have kind of situation that one thread need to access the value of another thread variable it's it's kind of not complex not complex at all but it can be a compli complex complex issue when you have things uh, like race condition and I don't like working with threads anyway <laughs> um, yeah k kind of funny funny stuff which you can do with unity but most things which I have learned that the C sharp language is kind of familiar with Java uh, uh, some things which I have not seen in Java like uh, delegates um, listeners exist in Java but uh, some things are, were actually new to me and I can always say learn 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 and you will never <laughs> you will always have something to do and yeah I continue progress in, in understanding how unity operates and I basically thinking that the experience the the prototypes which I built with each prototype I, I, I able to uh, understand even more what unity can um, offer because uh, I consider it other engines it's not that I, I took unity of course Unity took me over by the simplicity, uh, by amount of learning resources and the speed of of the development. You you can ha have it the best uh, the best other game engine, but if it, it if it is uh, slowing you down, mm, the aesthetic which you get it will be too beautiful actually. But this is not in my case because I strive for the game mechanics and the storytelling in my case. Anyway, that's all for me. And I continue learn Unity. I consider that I'm still at the beginning working with Unity. It's not problematic for me at all. It's kind of new domain understand and uh, getting through the new domain is always take time but I, I see some progress and next next uh, big huge uh, step will be like really uh, be able to test drive in, in unity 3d 
and um, like I know I'm babbling through like having chance to write uh, unit tests and bypass bypass the complexity of programming which you have in, in C sharp in C, C, C sharp language so that's it for me and thank you for watching thanks, thanks.